Good day to you. My name is Maria Konjelska and you're watching Pelon Daily Culture. And today we still continue our discussions about Russian mentality and the ongoing war in Ukraine. With us is Maria Konjelski, Polish philosopher. Thank you for coming to the studio. Thank you. And we, in the previous episode, we talked a lot about Stanisław Katmatskiewicz, who was a Polish writer and also a diplomat, but a, a person who very deeply understood Russia. And what he underlined was the fact that Russian society is raised on violence, which was uh, affected and is affected in the workplace of like adults who uh, are in the position of power, are beating just simply using violence of other people. The men are then beating their wives at homes. Parents are beating their children. Children are beating other children. And even the smallest children are usually beating animals and their pets. So the whole society from the very top to the bottom is based and is uh, grows also on terror and violence. And a way of um, also upbringing children uh, is of just uh, beating them. If a, if a person is obedient, if it's um, if a child is the way how to, in a good way, br br bring up a child, is just to beat him or her. And this, of course, creates something uh, absolutely peculiar in the very core of a society, that the violence is a way of resolving m most of all the problems. And we see the same things right now as in war, um, that, well, Russians have their internal problems, they have their problems of also the growing society and the economical problems. But in, in order to resolve this, uh, they are just starting the war. Well, Stanislav Moskiewicz, as we mentioned him, he was convinced that, uh, uh, as I mentioned la last time, uh, we cannot hope for any change in Russia, uh, as well as previously in the Soviet Union, on its own. The only change may be achieved if Russia is under combined political and military pressure from the West. And even the, the most severe economic competition will not lead to any collapse of Russia and any change of their government. So this is one thing. Another issue is this uh, overwhelming presence of violence. And this is the fact that this culture accepts violence as not only as resolving problems, this is one thing, but also as the regular behavior, as expression of your anger, but also sometimes it's even thoughtless, as Dostoevsky and Kadmatskiewicz uh, used to write. We have these very deep observations from Stanislav Lem, who knew uh, Russia very well, who was uh, traveling to Russia many times. He had uh, lectures, he was invited in the Russian Academy of Science. He was talking to top educated people in Russia, but who also observed the regular society. And he was also, during World War II, living in uh, Lvov, uh, the city that passed from hands to hands, from Poland to Germany, and then from Germany to Soviet Union. So he could observe also the differences between the violence that was uh, methodic and mechanical, let's say, from the part of Germany and that was chaotic uh, from the part of Russians, but he was so much horrified by the terror imposed by Russians that he used to say that I don't believe in God, but seeing uh, the Soviet Union, I do believe in the devil. So evil exists if there is Soviet Union, so this Russian form of government. This is very strongly sad. And well, <laughs> the manifestation of devil in Russia, but looking at the way how soldiers are behaving and how they were behaving during the World War II, and even now, right now, how they are behaving towards our uh, Ukrainian citizens. So um, murdering, cutting people openly, uh, raping, raping even uh, women uh, just after birth or even in pregnancy and old people and uh, leaving them just to die in, for example, old people in uh, in the uh, caring houses. So uh, doing, doing things which are unthinkable to us in the West and they are doing them right now in 2022 in front of our eyes. Yes, this is extermination that is happening. And this is one of the objectives of Russian policy, to destroy 
the state of Ukraine in the form it has now, meaning in the Western form of the organization of the society. Because this is something incompatible with so-called Russian order. This was also observation of Stanislav Lem, who believed that the, this massive terror that also Germans experienced from hands of Russian soldiers was not just the revenge for what Germans did to Russians during World War II, which was the fact and which could be somehow comprehensible, but also uh, their instinct destruction of everything that has other form in terms of civilization. And the observation of Lem is that Russia is not only, and Russian society is not only another form of civilization, but this is a form of civilization that don't, does not accept any other form of civilization. And the answer is destruction. And again, Lem highlights that West has done a lot to neglect, to cover, not to observe, not to admit, and, and to, to remain blind for how the Russian society really works. And this is also something very, uh, very sad. Our uh, goal of saying all of those things is the fact that the Western minds and eyes have to eventually open up and accept and admit the reality that the massive destruction and violence are the features of Russian society and Russian mentality, and it will not change. Um, it, with some diplomatic or economical pressure. And this is also what we are currently observing in Ukraine. And this is for real, true. And we have to oppose it. Thank you for watching Poland Daily Culture.